Okay, so today I'm going to give you a little tour of my waxing room. Of course here I have the waxing bed, the massage bed, which has clean sheets and clean towels on it after every single client. I like to change the headrest towel and the sheet after every client has left. And I also apply a sheet of paper onto the bed, which can easily be thrown away. Um, on the bed they have the um, aftercare waxing card that I like to give to um, every single new client so she can take that home and read all the information that she needs to learn about how to take care of her wax. There's a fresh clean towel which I get my client to cover herself up with when I leave the room so that when I enter the room she's not exposed to any uh, stray people passing by my waxing uh, room. And here I have my um, table setup. I always have a box of tissues on hand, um, cotton pads to obviously um, prep the skin with when I'm prepping the skin with um, a cleansing lotion. I have um, a jar of spatulas and also lots of spatulas on hand when um, I'm actually prepping for my next client because of course we don't double dip and we throw spatulas away after every single dip. I have hand sanitizer, even though I do, of course, have gloves and wear gloves at all times when I'm waxing. I have my little hard wax tabs here that I like to use when I'm training students, which I am today. Uh, these are little hard wax tabs that you apply to the hard wax and use that as your handle instead of students picking at the wax and irritating the client. I have a little tube of styptic, which is powder. Sometimes um, follicles can bleed and it can be a bit disconcerting sometimes, especially to uh, newbies and you think, oh, it's never going to stop bleeding, how am I going to stop that little blood spot from bleeding? You apply the styptic, it's um, antibacterial, it kills bacteria instantly and it dries up the blood in an instant. I like to use oil on a client before I wax them, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of oil. And here is my hard wax. I have hard wax in this pot, soft wax in this pot for legs and arms and chest. And then in this pot I have two different kinds of hard wax also. So in total in my room I have three different kinds of hard wax because I never know what kind of um, hair type or skin texture my client is going to have. So I like to play around with lots of different waxes and figure out you know how to remove the hair as easily and as efficiently for myself and for the client as possible. I have paper strips on hand. I have different length paper strips. I have the shorter length if I'm doing a bikini wax and I'm waxing the top half of the bikini with soft wax. I don't wax the labia with soft wax. And then I have the larger wax strips which I use for legs and arms. I always buy my wax strips on a roll so I can cut them according to what service I'm using. I always have paper sheeting on my table which I throw away after um, every, at the end of every day and before I start working on a client I will put whatever I'm going to be using on my client at that time I will put my items on tissue so that they're not sharing the same piece of paper and you know cross contamination. If I'm using tweezers then I have a jar of Barbicide which I uh, soak my tweezers in afterwards um, I very rarely use tweezers when I'm waxing. I prefer not to. I think the client's there for a wax and not a tweeze. I have my mag light, which I always like to use after I've waxed to check over the area to make sure that I've not missed any bits. I like to use that. I think it's very important. So if you have the room, the space in your salon to have as many different kinds of wax as I do and the mag light, that's great because it really makes for a much better service. So anyway, thank you for taking a tour of my room. Thank you.